Hi guys, Kev here. Um, I just thought I'd put together a little video. I've had quite a few people from our community ask how I, I do certain things on my Twitch stream. Um, and, and I thought, you know, I've explained what I do many times via messaging and, you know, over a Discord call, but I thought, I'd, let's just put this out there on YouTube and see if it can help anybody. So people have asked me about obviously getting sound effects onto your Twitch channel with uh, with commands, you know, Twitch commands, and then play a sound file. Uh, but not only that, then they ask, well, I'm able to create a, a single command that uh, plays random sound files, and we'll have a random sound file come up every time for that it's one command, uh, or. Um, we also, with with any given command, we can have the bot respond in chat with a random response. Obviously, you can make the bot say anything you like, but you can also have the bot put a, a file together where the bot will choose randomly from a bunch of different responses that you create. So I want to show this because a lot of people in the community have asked, and I just thought... There's no better way to help than to see it firsthand. Um, first thing you got to do, Streamlabs chatbot. If you don't have the Streamlabs chatbot, take a look in the description. I'll have a link uh, for the download. I you do all of my sound effects through Streamlabs chatbot. It works out perfectly for me, and that's really all I use that bot for. I use stream elements for other things i use stream labs for other things i, I use multiple bots but stream labs chatbot is specifically for my sound effects okay so once you have stream labs chatbot installed on your computer all you need to do first of all is make sure you've got your twitch accounts uh, connected and authenticated with uh, stream labs chatbot so down here at the bottom click on the little person You'll see that you can authenticate your Twitch account, and if you have a Twitch bot account, you can do both of them. And both of mine are logged in and authenticated, just as you would any other application. Second thing, we need sound files. So let's reduce this. I have six test files here saved on my desktop. These can be saved anywhere. Key what this is, is you want all of these files to be in one folder. So I'm gonna create a new folder, and we'll just call it test. And we're going to put these six files into that folder. And there they are. And I'm just going to play a couple of them for you, just so you know. They are six different files. What are you doing in my swamp? A few moments okay. later. So we have six different files in there. But so now back to the chatbot. And what we're going to do is create a test sound file here so sound files on the left and you're gonna hit the plus button here to add a new one these are our existing ones I use on my channel so just ignore those uh, so exclamation test will be our command that's our command now we need to find the file that we want we want that whole folder so we're gonna find that so we're gonna pick it and we know it's on the desktop uh, we know we called it test now, it's not allowing me to just choose just the folder. I have to choose one of the files in the folder. So we'll take number one. And at this point, you can test it. You can see what it's going to play. And you'll notice that it plays the same file every single time. That's because we had to choose that first file. So what you need to do in order for it to choose randomly out of the six instead of just the first one is delete the file name at the very end we know that test one mp3 was the name of the first file in the folder so we need to delete that bit of text off of this line so now you have the file location up until the folder name and the forward slash that's what you want now if we click preview it's going to grab any one of those six a few moments later, two hours later, a few moments later. What are you okay. doing in my swamp? So it's just randomly grabbing one of those six and playing it. 
So what we need to do is also to finalize this, automatically generate as command. And we're gonna do some other stuff with this down here. Second part of the video, we're gonna add a response from the bot. For now, I mean, you can mess with these. These are cooldowns and permissions, whether it's uh, subscribers, VIPs, uh, all that good stuff. But we're gonna allow everybody to input this command. So we've got that set. We're gonna hit submit. And now we're gonna go to my Twitch dash panel just so we can test this out a little bit. And we'll see what happens. Test, exclamation test. A few moments later. Two hours later. Don't! Okay. So it's working Don't! as we like. It's randomly, randomly grabbing one of those six files and playing them every time someone types in exclamation test. But what if you want your bot to respond to that? Now we can make the bot easily, easily respond to that. If we go back to our test and right click, edit, and just say we wanted to say hello and submit that every time someone types in test in your chat the bot's going to just say hello two hours later so they plays a random sound ra random sound file and the bot little bob tv says hello um what if you want that to be randomized as well what you need to do is open up notepad what we're going to say is hello space um i space welcome welcome to my channel space and then we're going to save this we're also going to stay save this right to the desktop we'll just call it um text test close that sure that that's there here it is there's our little text file and we've got three random responses that we're just going to try and make sure that we've got this working go back into the bot and right click and edit your test file test command and instead of saying hello, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So you type in money sign, read, rand, line. So read random line, read rand line. Then we're going to put a parentheses. And what we need to do is find the exact file location name of this file that we just created this uh, notepad file. So let's go back out here and look at properties. And we know it's on the C drive. We're just going to copy this. The location. User C drive KJOR desktop. And we're going to go back into the bot. And we're going to paste that in there. That's not the end of it. That's not the end of it. Let's go back to our our file there this is the actual file name so we need to copy and paste that as well we also need a forward slash in there forward slash Oops. after the desktop then paste in what we just copied the actual file name which is text test dot txt and then we're going to slap in the final parentheses so now with that command right there, with that command, we are going to have the bot respond with any one of those three lines that we put in into that text file. So let's submit this and see how it works. Head back over to our Twitch channel and we're gonna type in exclamation test. A few moments later. And we get a welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. That time he just said hi. Don't! Welcome to my channel. And let's do one more time. Don't! 
and hi. So we got two of the three that we put in the file. Obviously it's random. It's not always going to mix it up. You might get one more times than the other, but it does do random. I've been doing this for a couple of years now with many of my sound effects on my Twitch channel and it works. Uh, so there you go. That is how you get a random file. Random response from your bot with a random sound effect. Now you can mix and match those. You don't have to have, you can put a, a sound effect on that plays the same sound every time and then your response be random. I'm just, with our example here, we did a random sound and a random response just to get it all mixed into one. Um, another thing you can do with your sound response is, you know, we were saying hi, hello, welcome to my channel. At the end of this, put a space and then dollar sign user ID. And it will say hello to the person that typed in that command. Let's see how that works. Go! And there you have it. Casual Kev TV said exclamation test. We heard Homer Simpson. The bot responds with hi space casual Kev TV. There we go. We heard Shrek and the bot says hello, Casual Kev TV. Go! And we've got the third and final response. We heard Homer again, along with welcome to my channel, Casual Kev TV. Okay. So that is how you I just love I love this bot. I love this bot. It's such a simple little bot, right? And it's been around for a long time. But I use this bot specifically to do these little sound effects and the little tricks and responses and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. If you guys have any questions about what I've done here today, please feel free to ask me in the uh, comments. If you have any, if you would like to catch me live on my stream, I'm on Twitch three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I would be happy to help you out. Just come and say hello. Let me know. Let me know. And I'm happy to help you out. Um, but there's the trick. It's not too hard took a little digging to, 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 to figure it out but it's just something I've learned over the past couple years that I I think is invaluable especially people who are just getting started with streaming and you want some variety in your stream thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video if this helped you in any way please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing and we'll see you guys all in the next one